Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Michelle. This message will be for anyone who resonates with it, okay? You'll know if this is your story. So let's see. An intuitive message. I'm going to be using these Akashic Records Tarot deck. Okay, very nice, very beautiful. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for all your many blessings. Spirit God, Source, please give me clear and concise messages for this reading. For whoever resonates, Holy Spirit, please. For their greatest and highest good. What can you tell me? For the collective, whoever resonates. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Let's see. Let's just see. The overall energy is the waterfall and the bottom of the deck, the arc of the convenant, covenant, however you pronounce it. I'm going to read these two and then we'll move into the reading, okay? So let's see, the arc and the waterfall. So we'll read the waterfall first, as it is the first one that came out here. Okay, so it is the Six of Forces. I don't know if you're familiar with this deck, but um, I'm not, so. The Six of Forces waterfall. The towering waterfall roars down into a beautiful body of water. This card reminds you of your great and incredible personal power and supports you in opening up the forces within. Know that you are a dynamo in the universe. You have the ability to shape any situation in a way that honors you and moves your life forward. The element of water is fluid. Like the waterfall, your personal energy never stops. Your life force is never ending. It springs from your eternal past and roars into your limitless future, extending the farthest reaches of the universe. It is a time of deep thought and even deeper emotions, as well as an expansion of psychic energy. Use this time to act on these and tap into your power that is ever flowing. It is ever flowing. You are a dynamic of the universe. And so although this may be um, an emotional time, okay, for, for some of us, okay, and even of deep thought, our, um, we have the ability to expand our psychic abilities, our intuition, and flow. Okay, go with the flow is what I'm getting and use the force within you to create any scenario that you want that will empower you. Let's move on to the Ark of Covenant. This is a major arcana. The stars are shining on a serene desert night. Fires burn before a number of white tents and inside one of the tents just beyond the open front flaps rest the ark of the covenant two men sit by a crackling fire nearby at the most mundane level this card can represent a beneficial legal contract or a title transfer it also can show successfully working with professionals such as brokers and lawyers. More often, it indicates that you are living true to your own karmic contract, facing your lessons of growth, working toward greater discoveries, and bringing your unique contribution to the world. Your karma does not rule you. You rule it. When the work becomes too great, take a rest. Taking a rest doesn't break with your covenant. It supports it. You understand the phases of time 
and energy and you work within those phases. Some of your karmic di directives at this time may involve other people. If so, make sure there is no urgency, there is no need or personal agenda at play. Don't let yourself get pulled into an emotional drama. You know that br that things that require your attention now reflect a commitment that has a far-reaching influence that may impact your present as well as your future lives. So continue to work towards the highest purpose in your life, to unfold the sacred covenant you have to touch the world with your light. This is about purpose. Like, um, when people hear karma, a lot of times they think negatively, that's not it. Okay, we create our karma, right? We create it by the things that we do. Okay, so um, this is a very, very powerful message, especially with that 11 number there. Okay, um, it's a major arcana, as I mentioned. Okay, so we're on our life's purpose path okay and there's this energy here where we're going to be able to tap into not only our intuition but more it's almost like the akashic records our records that will impact not only right now but it has far reaching far reaching consequences and it could be good or it could be bad all right now, I need to pull this out for those of you who are thinking about um, a faded meeting, okay, or someone who is on your soul path here, okay? So it says a faded meeting. You can see the time there, okay? That could be very significant, that clock. It could talk about divine timing, all right? It could talk about someone coming back, or it could talk about the perfect meeting, of course, with faded energy here. Spirit has a lot... Um, to do with this okay but i pulled that out because it's a number seven sevens talk about the past for me okay but um i pulled it out because it's it was drawing to me with this life's purpose so at the end of the day this could be a spiritual connection that involves working on your purpose these collaborations these groups these alliances some of you may be looking for closing to a legal situation for others they are looking for help and you're going to have lawyers and people and earth angels who come into your life and help you all right it may feel as though because remember this card when i was reading it it said the towering waterfall so there may feel as though there's a tower happening here but this is actually going to help propel you if you stay fluid and in tune with the emotions or what's triggering you or how it's really making you feel by listening to your intuition and your higher ups, you're going to be guided to this major arcana and faded meetings. I love, love, love this. Okay. So let's start this um, timer and let's get into the reading. You know what? I'm going to use this deck, The Honest Truth. Holy Spirit, messages of love, truth, and guidance for the collective, please. Clear and concise messages regarding this sweet message of inspiration for the collective. Clear and concise, Holy Spirit, please. Let me see what you want me to see. Say what you want me to say. The first card, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, The Magician. Again, some of you may be looking for a settlement, okay? Or you're seeking the purpose, right? The promise, okay? What you have to offer to the world is unique. It is what you are here to do. It is not only bountiful for you, it is bountiful for others, okay? You have a lot of wisdom. You've been working at this for a very long time, okay? But this is success, successfully completing karma and starting new endeavors that will have reaching effects from now 
through to our next lifetimes, okay? There is this energy of receiving clarity here with the Ace of Swords and victory. I love all of these cards with the Magician here. You are co-creating with the universe, okay? Regarding what we just talked about. These are the higher up cards. Let's see. Yeah, Five of Swords, Twin Flame, and the Emperor. Bottom of the deck, the Page of Swords. This is a message. This is research. This is, um, you know, doing some digging, that deep thought, okay? Or the initial stages of deep thought, okay? Um, speaking your truth, being authentically you, okay? Also being authentic and integral. All right, standing in your truth, okay? Now, some of you may be receiving some type of document or some type of message. I do feel this energy here where there may be a message coming in from the universe with these psychic hits, with these intuitive messages, staying fluid so that we can receive it without putting our ego spin on it, right? Just being and allowing the information to flow to us. Okay, is what I am getting here. Yeah, definitely. With the Six of Cups, this talks about being supported. It talks about genuine love. It talks about um, maybe a childhood dream that you had and bringing the thoughts from the past, um, this dream, this goal, this purpose, bringing the dream together, the, the younger self meeting the present self and allowing something big and beautiful to happen in your life, going on that path to success, victory, clarity, and co-creation of our physical reality that will not only impact us in a beautiful and an abundant way, but also leave our mark for future families, grandchildren, their grandchildren, and their grandchildren, and passing the torch on, okay? Although you've been working at it a long time, this is not easy. Ten of Pentacles is one practical step at a time, not giving up. There's hurdles and crossroads and, you know, decision making in this Ten of Pentacles. Okay? Revising and tweaking. Right? Learning. Okay? And with the Ace of Swords, like I said, this is getting truth and clarity. But more than that, victory. Victory awaits. That's what your higher self is saying. It's matching with these cards here. You are a co-creator. You're getting this conscious awareness that you are more than resourceful. All power lies in your hands because you are a part of the dynamic duo with the universe. So you can manifest whatever it is that you want. Okay, you can. All right. With that being said, let's move into the uh, energy that is the foundation of this. We have the five of swords here. The five of swords talks about, you know, that inner struggle. It talks about conflict. It talks about deception and it talks about feeling defeated. Okay. And that may be an energy that we may be struggling with right now. Okay. Not all, but some. We go in and out of this energy because it is the lower vibration, the higher vibration, right? We combine the both. We embrace both the light and the dark, okay? And as humans, we can overthink things. This is not staying in flow. This is kind of worrying and being, you know, um, seeing all the complications within a situation, okay? For some of us, this is about our relationships. It could be about how we communicate. It could be about the struggle with um, trying to differentiate who's really with us and for us and spiritually aligned with us as opposed to who isn't, but we want them to be. We want them to be, right? <clears throat> I say that because we have the Twin Flame card next. And the Twin Flame card talks about a soul connection. It could be with, you know, this other person. Who we are either with right now or we're separated from. Um, it will be different for everybody. This is a collective whoever resonates reading, okay? But for a lot of us, this could also be about our social groups, our business partners, our family members, the people who mean the most to us because those are the people who impact us the most. We impact them the most, okay? 
So this is this energy here. The card states it's about the soul. It's divinity and ascension. Again, the forces, the six forces here with this towering waterfall. We're going to be leveling up towards our um, path, whatever that is for you. Okay. It doesn't have to be something big and grandiose. Um, in, in ways of impacting people, it will be. But what we do, we could be teachers, travelers, um, spiritualists, um, healers, in any way. All of these things have huge umbrellas, huge fields, right? We could be lawyers who are fighting for um, peace and harmony in the world, okay? We can be, um, you know, church folk, fellowship, it could be anything, okay, so whatever it is, that's your purpose, your purpose is your purpose, that's what you are here to do, okay, so I want to keep this very general, but this card, Twin Flame, it says, ascension, divinity, and the soul, there's something peaking within you, if it hasn't already, that you may be worried about, because it, it means that you have to make some type of sacrifice, you have to cut something out, you may not want to, you may not want to, okay? That's why the Five of Swords is here, okay? It's seeing something as complicated. It's seeing the difficulties and stuff. It's a conflict within oneself is what my spirit guidance are telling me. But the awesome sauce stuff here is that the Five of Swords and the Ace of Swords is Six Swords. The Six Swords is also victory. It's Spirit Guide Swords leading you to this beautiful, empowering energy with the Emperor here. Now, for some, this emperor indicates this person here. Male or female is the masculine energy, okay? It's just um, this faded meeting that you either, you either are going to experience or you have experienced and it's, conf you know, giving conflicting energies. Maybe you've been by yourself for a while and it's throwing you off in some way. It's unexpected. Or maybe you're with someone and you, um, it's, the feeling is, huge and it's like I don't even know I don't even know what to do with this okay okay because you know six of cups also talks about past right so it could be someone you're running into from the past there's a message there's a conversation and there's all of this inner conflict okay for others this is somebody we're already with and again there's some people we need to cut out of our energy and it's not easy to do that it's not easy to do that but this emperor does talk about taking the lead in your life, okay? It's to get stability, it's order, it's power, and it's protection, okay? And it's action. It's an action-oriented um, card, with it being the divine masculine energy here. Um, Aries, uh, yeah, Aries energy is very, you know, it's Mars, okay? Um, it says on here, Archangel Michael, it is feeling pumped up and realizing you could do whatever it is you want to do, you have to take the lead. It's up to you, all right? You are the co-creator of your own physical reality. However, it has been difficult to reach this 10 pentacles for some. For some of us, we've had to cut out something that we thought was our path and pick up something new with these new ideals, right? With these new um, researching and feelings and thoughts, okay? Okay. Maybe something from the past, from our childhood, that we've always, always wanted to do. The good news is the ace, I mean, the um, page of wands is here, which states there's something new that we can go towards artistically, okay? Creatively, all right? All we got to do is um, pick it our own curiosity and get out of our own way with the eight of swords, Okay, get out of our own way with the Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. It's just a decision that needs to be made. But I feel that some of us feel that we may be, you know, we may hurt someone else by doing what we want to do. All right, because with the Tower and the Seven of Swords, it feels as though, and under that, the Ten of Wands, it feels as though it's hard. It's hard to make this decision. It's hard to even think about it. It feels as though... Um, we may feel as though our judgments are off. We may be being very hard on ourselves because it's like um, 
we may feel as though by making the decision we need to make for ourselves, right? I'm not going to blame anybody in this particular reading. It's not about anybody else, but we may be feeling as though the decisions we're going to make is actually breaking a promise to somebody else, or it is betraying someone or letting someone else down. Okay. But spirit is asking us to think about our long term, um, what we are investing in long time term okay what is the vision seven of pentacles hold your vision make baby steps and also with the page of wands do some research again just like the page of swords do some research peek at your interests see what is out there visit new people go to a museum pick up a book um you know go sit in the garden okay sit with your spirit guides and see Really tap in because this is that deep thought. What makes you feel good is what is going to, what makes you feel good is what's going to really excite you at this time. But it will also bring up these thoughts here because it's, it's different. That's the time that we're in right now. That's what's happening right now. It is. Okay. Our purpose is coming, it's like it's right in our face. There's going to be some huge shifts. And these earth angels, faded meetings, alliances, groups, this individual, all right, is going to um, give us the excitement that we, that we need, okay? It's the help that we need is what I'm getting. It is. It's the help that we need is what I'm getting. So I'm just going to bring out a couple of cards here. Justice. Mm -hmm. Remember we talked about karma in this card. Karma is not a bad thing. It is making just and right and fair decisions on behalf of self. Because we create our own karma as we go. As we move through this earth on this plane we create our own karma by the decisions that we make it's about being authentic true standing in our own you know authenticity and our own integrity all right doing what is just doing what is right doing what is fair right but this balance card also talks about that um flow okay not too invested here, not too invested there, but just on an even kill, going with the flow and doing what is right, okay, for ourselves, okay? Um, that also talks about that legal, um, legal, um, the court system and stuff like that, right? Someone may have been stressing, okay, about some type of settlement, okay? If someone did you wrong or... Um, something like that, okay? It will be different for everybody. Um, the good news is, is that you're going to get your just reward in this, okay? You're going to get your just reward in this. Now, let's just get another card here. Holy Spirit, please. Clear and concise for whoever resonates. Yes! Six of Pentacles. The even give and take. It's, it's a lot of balanced energy here, but you know, the Six of Pentacles is the key. It's the key to it all. Is what we give is what we get. There's more pleasure in giving because we get back tenfold. That's justice. That's karmic justice, right? So this is about pouring into whatever excites us. It's coming over the soul, ascension, and this um, divinity, okay, with the truth. And really getting victory in this. Okay, now for some of us who are thinking about love, there's some type of faded energy in here where it's going to be equal reciprocity. Okay, it's going to be um, a connection on a deeper level. All right, on a soul level. Equally um, giving, alignment is what I just heard. Okay, I don't want to force this message here. But then we have the king of pentacles, bottom of the deck. We have the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Wands reverse, along with the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups. 
all right? As well as the Hierophant, oh my gosh, I got to bring all of these out. The Hierophant, Temperance, the Sun, Chariot, all of these beautiful, beautiful energies. But let's talk about the King of Pentacles first. The King of Pentacles, very generous. We have the Magician and the Emperor, a very generous business person. This could be a part of your purpose, okay? But all of these are very grounded energies as well. A lot of money on the table as well. Abundance, okay? Whatever your abundance is. Because you can have much money, right? And still not have come um, full fulfillment because you're not doing what you really want to do, right? Um, there is this energy here where with the magician, you can create the abundance you are happy about. And this person here is very generous. They're not stingy. They're not stingy with their energy, their time, or their money. But they are wise in the way that they know how to uh, time management. It's very important. Rest with the uh, pentacles. Um, planning with the pentacles. Details. Research. Ideals. Helping others. Okay? As well as helping yourself. All right? With the, with the um, emperor here, not only does this person know how to, um, you know, um, plan, look over the land, look over other people, but they also know how to utilize the resources that they have in a very, um, in a very successful way, okay? In other words, they don't run around the world doing everything. They have, it's teamwork. Okay, they use the um, different people in their environment to help them create a beautiful community and they know who to give what responsibilities to. Okay, so because they use their strengths, right? They don't they don't test people uh, to do something that they know good and well they can't do because then the end goal. That's what it's about. It's about the end goal all of this. It's about the, the, the purpose, okay? I hope I'm saying this right. With the first card, Eight of Wands, reverse, this is having like a, a blocked third eye chakra or a blocked crown. We're not listening or paying attention to the signs and synchronicities. We're only listening to ourselves, five of swords. That's that ego, okay? It's, it's not that we want to. It's not intentional. It's a human thing. Okay, no, I can't, I can't, what spirit, you want me to do that? No, I can't do that. Okay, this is also not asking for help, not being open to the help or the messages or the information coming in. This is success, eight of wands. As soon as this, this is telling me that because it's on the table, it's just the warning that we want to stay in flow because things could come up out of the blue, okay? But it's going to help propel us to victory. So if we are blocked, okay, we're not going to be able to get what we want. That's what that is saying, okay? And especially with the Eight of Swords, that's that's indicative of feeling stuck, trapped, restricted, not being able to get any, you know, get what we want and feeling some type of way behind it with the Five of Swords, okay? Like I said, some of us have tried some things in the past and it didn't work out. And so we're feeling a bit defeated. We're feeling at a loss. We're feeling, you know, we're taking it all on for ourselves in a very negative way. And what Spirit is saying is just open up your mind, okay? Open up your mind. Open up to the possibilities because they are endless, positive, bountiful, abundant, stable, solid, secure energies, not only for you, but for the community, for your friends, for your family, for those who are coming after you, okay? Your grandchildren, their children, their grandchildren's children, and so on and so forth, all right? The next cards all came out upright, and we have the beautiful Ace of Wands with the Ace of Swords, the Soul, Twin Flame card, and Six of Pentacles. We can manifest with our wands a brand new beginning, a brand new situation, okay? A whole new world, all right? With new people, new love, new contracts, new alliances, new groups, okay? 
who are spiritually aligned, who are willing and open and available to offer up their cup, okay, their heart, all right? And so, you know, for some, this is what is happening, but something has to be released here, okay? Something has to be released here. We got to let go of our own thought about things, okay? Those negative thoughts, there's a mindset that needs to be changed here or, you know, the company that we're keeping, people who, the naysayers, like, what? Huh? Uh-uh. And then they plant these negative seeds in our head. Those things must be changed around, okay? And then we have the Hierophant. This is about praying and getting out of this mindset of, you know, one particular um, way of seeing things, old paradigms. You know, old belief systems and all of that kind of stuff. There's this energy here where there's a spotlight because you're going to be receiving some information if you allow. You'll be receiving some information, some new ideals, some new guidance. Even if it's through these people, these earth angels, spirit guide source will use people and different scenarios to get us out of our own comfort zone. And that's what I feel like this spotlight is on. Some kind of new commitment. Something that it comes from the soul. It's love. It's what you are meant here to do. And you can see this person is pretty much um, praying for change. And spirit is saying, what you want, you can have. Okay? There has been some divine intervention here. Okay? Um, divine timing has been at play. All right? Spirit has been waiting for you to be aligned with what you want. All right? Is what I am getting here. Okay? Okay? Patience, grasshopper. It's all turning out well. With the sun and the chariot, you're leaving the past behind. You're staying on target. Okay? And when I say leaving the past behind, it's whatever has been conflicting you. Okay? It doesn't have to be, you know, a relationship that you're leaving behind. It could be a, 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 a business. Anything that hasn't been bringing you this kind of joy. In this kind of abundance, you know, source is restora restorative. Source is healing. Source is enlightening. Source is abundant on a whole nother level. Source is the miracle. Just stay on track. Stay focused. Okay. Um, where your focus goes, your energy grows. I also get this energy here where if somebody has, again, been trying to get a resolve, there's this energy of a simple solution coming in once you open your mind and take take action. Take action. Don't just sit and think and ponder and beat yourself up about this or that or the other. Take action. Take small steps. Okay? It doesn't matter what's going on. Spirit said, first cards out, you will get karmic justice. You will get a gift, a handout, a um, support here in whatever it is that you need. Money, a new job, a new this, a new that. There's going to be some incredible people that you're going to be meeting who are spiritually aligned with you. And it's almost like you never thought that this was happening, but it will. It gets greater later and later is now. Okay. Later is now or whenever you are guided to this message. There's a mindset change, okay? There's a different way of thinking. Let go of the negativity. Let go of heartbreak and heartache or let go of, you know, what someone else did to you and things like that. What are you doing about it? What are you doing about your situation? What are you doing? Are you still going to go into that same job? You can. You can make changes. You can say, okay, I need to, you know, um, I don't know. I don't want to tell you guys to do something and then you say oh well Miss Shelley said you know to do this or to do that no align with your spirit guides you're going to get something that is the solution to your problem so that you can move past that and head on the way of this this path okay the spiritual path your purpose all right there's also this energy of timeline um jumping jumping timelines okay if you are healing, aligning, asking, and co-creating with the universe, okay? 
Well, let's just go ahead and get one of these and close this out. This is a little longer than what I wanted it to be. I just wanted to give an inspirational message. I hope it was helpful for you and yours and your situation, okay? So take it as it resonates. All right. So the card that wanted to stay out here is peace. All right? Peace. It says... Just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend a performance. Make your life a drama-free sound. That's for somebody. The next card is optimism. If you're going to make up stories in your head about people and circumstances, please make them love stories with happy endings. Last card out, choices. Worry less about making the right choice and more about being strong enough to handle any outcome. Go with the flow. Be, into, be in flow. Be fluid. Right? There are going to be some faded meetings in work, love, alliances, spiritual connections. It's all going to help you align with your path. A lot of you, you're already on your path or you've already seen the signs. I saw the sign. Opened up my eyes. I saw the signs. And it may be bringing up some things within you because you already thought you were on the right path. Some of you still are. You just, you know, you got to hang in there. Okay. Others of you, you had to put something down and now maybe it's time to go back towards something. That nostalgia that's coming up about the past is something that you can go back to and make it work for you. For others, it's something brand new. You will know. You will know. But you have the power. You are very resourceful. You are in tune because you are a dynamic, magical being, a part of the universe. Utilize your power. Utilize it for you and for those who come after you. You can show them and enlighten them as well, okay? Namaste.